Uh oh, UPS coming. What they bringing me? Did I have this shirt on last week? I can't remember. I can't believe it's snowing outside. What is going on? It's the middle of April and it's snowing outside. What is happening right now? Me. I got a ton of stuff. It's like Christmas. My porch full of stuff and I ain't been out there yet to go get it. It's like Christmas, baby. Oh. What's up, you guys? It's Cece back with another pregnancy update. So if it's your first time watching Bradley TV or if you just have not clicked that subscribe button, make sure you go ahead and do so today because baby Bradley is closer than ever. Like, duh. But I am 38 weeks on the day you guys are watching this. So this could be our last update, y'all. This could really be our last update. I mean, or it could be the second to last. I don't know. But I do go to the doctor on Tuesday, um, which is three days away. So We'll see, we'll see what the doctor says, but this could really be the last update. So y'all better cherish me in this pregnant belly right now, cause this could be it, okay? Make sure you guys let us know down in the comment section if you think this is going to be the last update. Let me know down in the comment section, or do you think you gonna see me for another week or two? Let me know what your birth date predictions are. So anyway, let's start from the beginning. As usual, my due date is May 2nd, which pretty much means any day now. This is 38 weeks, 38 weeks of going through this. The baby will be out very, very soon. And I'm so excited and so happy and so grateful and all that stuff. Like, I think I expressed this to you guys last week, just how excited I was for the baby to come, how my spirits are really high and I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm getting the house together. Um, it's mostly together, but I'm just trying to maintain the cleanliness of the house and make sure that I'm ready for whatever day this happens, we're ready to go. This past week, I also posted my hospital bag reaction video from six years ago when I did a hospital bag video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, you should definitely do so because it's hilarious. But my actual hospital bag video will be up this coming week. So just make sure you guys stay tuned for that and more vlogs and, and all that stuff. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. All right, let's talk about symptoms. So this week, as far as symptoms go, everything has been pretty much the same, except for I have been having more like lower belly pain. Doesn't really feel like contractions, but it's pain. And it's happening more and more. Like if I'm sitting down and I stand up, I can feel it. And it just does not feel good at all. So I am having a lot more of that lower belly pain. It's not fun. And I don't know, there's sometimes it hit, hits me and I'm like, is that a contraction? But then it doesn't happen again. So I know it's not a contraction. It could be a Braxton Hicks, but it's just not. So, um, yeah, that's been, that sucks because I've been in some pain like some of the time, but, uh, as far as other symptoms, oh my God, let me tell you guys, I feel like I'm all over the place in this video, but let me tell y'all. So last week we talked about me kind of going back to eating flour. I had stopped eating, I wasn't eating flour and then my third trimester came, maybe like halfway through my third trimester, I started back eating flour because I ate it with my first and second babies. And so you guys talked about that you ate cornstarch instead of flour and I was like, oh, that's gross. Like what's wrong with y'all, y'all nasty. Okay, so I had some cornstarch at the house and I was cooking some fried chicken and I usually put a little bit of cornstarch in with the flour when I make fried chicken. So I looked at it and I was like, hmm, I wonder if they, if they know something I don't. I had some and oh my God, I have been obsessed. I have not touched the flour since it's been all cornstarch. So I just wanna let y'all know that that's y'all fault and I can't stand y'all for doing that. Like y'all got me hooked on corn. It's not as, it's not as salty as the flour and it doesn't like leave a dough in your mouth if you have too much. It's not like doughy, which I hated that the flour got doughy if you put too much in your mouth, but the cornstarch doesn't do that. So it has been so good. And I can't stand y'all for telling me that, but it's been real good, okay? So I have switched over from flour to cornstarch. And I know that probably means that I have an iron deficiency. That's what people say that, you know, you have an iron deficiency if you're eating stuff like that. But I mean, it's not like I'm eating a whole can full a day, you know, I'm taking, 
a few little licks here and there and that's it so that's kind of been my new obsession for the week as far as real foods go I haven't had many like cravings or anything like that um, I've just been kind of eating normally nothing really to report there yeah I've just been I've just been eating normally minus the cornstarch I also went to the doctor last week of course I go every single Tuesday and so I went to the doctor last Tuesday um, last week I told you guys that I lost two pounds so I was up nine pounds this week I gained one of those pounds back so I'm 180 pounds so I'm up 10 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight which again is fine with me um, <laughs> so I did gain one of those pounds back but I was just talking to the doctor about I don't know kind of about everything about like COVID-19 and about um, just what he's been seeing as far as hospital processes and hospital practices he just basically told me everything is pretty much the same from what we had talked about before so still allowed to have that one support person I ask about that every single week because I am just terrified that things are going to change for the worst and they're going to ban all hospital visitors which I just I can't see myself doing this alone you know so I'm still allowed to have my one support person which of course will be Mark and um I will still be able to get out in 24 hours as long as everything is okay. So I know I talked to you guys a little bit before letting you know that my babies were jaundiced and um, normally they have to stay under those lights for longer than 24 hours, usually for almost the full stay of the hospital, which before was 48 hours. So if that happens again, then obviously we'll be in for a two day stay. But if everything's fine with this one, then we should be able to get out in 24 hours, which is awesome because I wanna be reunited with my girls and I just, I want them to get to meet their little brother as soon as possible. So um, I just, I'm praying for a 24 hour exit from the hospital. So fingers crossed for that. The doctor also checked my cervix again and he uh, said that I was still only one centimeter dilated. So last week I was one centimeter, I'm one centimeter again and um, he said it might have been like one and a half but for the most part one centimeter and then the baby was still pretty high up there so he said I could be pregnant potentially for another probably two weeks. He said it'll probably be close to the due date and so that's that. Like I said I'm 38 weeks so I still have two more weeks until my due date. So who knows, you know, if I'll go to my due date, if I'll be right before, if I'll be right after, who knows. But he said the baby is still pretty high up. So I'm anxious to see what happens on Tuesday, if I'm in the same position or what. As far as the baby moving, the baby has been doing some crazy movements and like kicking the hell out of me. Like I want to take a video, but I feel like I can never catch him. I feel like I can never catch him when my stomach is just like moving and going crazy. And I'm going to try to catch him um, before I give birth. I really want to. But he like does like some crazy movement sometimes. And my stomach looks like an alien is trying to get out of there. And I'm like, come on, baby. Come on out then. <laughs> like we waiting on you too. So um, it's just the funniest thing when I see that. It is, I don't know, it's, it's nuts. It's like he just cannot sit still anymore. He's like ready to go. He's moving all day and he's just really, really active. So of course that's an amazing thing. I'm happy that he's active and um, I know he's, he's running out of space in there. So he needs to get out. I'm just, I'm wondering how big he's gonna be. Like my kids are never that large. Morgan was six pounds, one ounce. Mariah was seven pounds, four ounces. And so I just wonder how, like if he's going to be an eight pound baby, if he's going to be a seven pound baby, I just wonder how big he's going to be because, um, I don't know. He's just like so active. He's just moving in there and it's just been on my mind lately. Like how big is this baby really going to be? As far as what I'm doing this week to prepare, like I told you guys, I'm just trying to get the house together, maintain the cleanliness of the house. I did have to order a changing table today because we had a dresser up in our bedroom, but it was too tall for me to use as a changing table. So I did order a changing table today, so that should be here next Friday. Will it beat the baby? I don't know, we'll see but um, that should be here next Friday, but everything else is pretty much done. I'm actually going to sterilize the bottles and the pump parts today, so that can all be finished, and pretty much everything else has been completed. It's really just been, like I said, a maintaining thing, so very, I'm just excited that we're at the end. I'm trying to relax, but 
y'all know me i can't relax i can't sit down mark is like this is like seriously your last few days of being pregnant like just sit down and i'm like i cannot like i just always feel like there's so much to do even though i've done a lot of it i just always feel like there's so much to do and i can't sit down and i can't relax i'm like i'll relax when i'm dead like if i'm sitting down i feel like i'm being lazy and there is more I could be doing and that's just how that's how I've always felt even before I was pregnant so pregnancy hasn't changed much I just have to take a lot more frequent breaks but um, I'm happy to be able to get up and move and not be in so much pain or just be so uncomfortable that I can't move so let's go into the baby center app as normal <sighs> Whew, I've definitely been more out of breath lately. I can definitely say that. But let's go into the pregnancy app. Um, 38 weeks, it says the baby is the size of a leak. And um, it says your baby has a firm grasp, which will soon be able to hold his hand for the first time. As far as symptoms during week 38, I can look forward to swollen ankles. My feet did swell at around 38 weeks um, when I was pregnant before. So I wonder if that's going to happen this week. I don't know. But uh, swollen ankles, it says some swelling in your feet and ankles is normal during the last few weeks. Um, just make sure you don't have preeclampsia trouble sleeping actually i've been sleeping uh, okay um it has been really hard like a lot harder to get comfortable but once i get comfortable i've actually been sleeping pretty good minus the two or three pee breaks i have to take in the middle of the night um says i may have crazy dreams while you're sleeping you're likely to have some intense dreams i don't know if i've had any lately i know i was having some like some weeks ago but i don't know if i've had any lately and that's really it that's all it says we are at the finish line you guys i don't think there's anything else to do we are at the finish line and so i am just i'm happy i'm grateful and will i see you guys next week is the only question that we <laughs> that we have let me get up i'm going to show you guys my belly and then i'm gonna let you go It's, that's everything that I have for this 38 week update if you guys have any questions make sure you leave them down below in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>